Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up page navigation inside Power BI. This is actually quite a straightforward process. There are a couple of different ways to do it. So let's jump right into it. Okay, guys. So here I have a blank Power BI document and I've got myself five different pages, page one, two, three, four, and five. For the purpose of today's video, we don't need any data, but I am going to show you a couple of different ways that you can set up your page navigation. Okay. So there is a relatively newish feature inside Power BI that allows you to actually add a uh, page navigation. Navigation. It's actually really straightforward and really simple. So I'm going to start there and then I can show you more of the uh, kind of specific ones uh, as we kind of get into the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the insert tab at the top here and we're going to come on over to where we have all of our elements here. Now, if we go to buttons here, we can choose from a drop down menu and then you've got a navigator and then you've got page navigator. So if we give that a click, that's going to load up this relatively neat looking kind of page navigator navigation and of course we can hold the control key down and we can shift through those okay now this page navigation of course is only on the first page it's not replicated through any of these other pages so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click into this and we're going to come over to the right hand side and we're going to do some formatting okay so you can make this look however you would like so you've got the shape it's a rectangle and there's no rounded corners I personally like rounded corners so I'm going to put those to 30 pixels and now we end up with these peel like buttons okay click back into here we can go in into this shape again. Uh, we can choose different types of shapes. So if you wanted arrows, chevrons, uh, pentagons, hearts, whatever, like usually you have rectangle or rounded uh, rectangle that like you can choose pills as well. So if you choose rounded rectangles, you can see here you get just the corners rounded in, which is quite a nice little touch. Then you have the ability to rotate this. I don't think many people would ever do that, but that's there nonetheless. And then we've got style right now here. You have different options depending on your uh, preferences. So you have your default position of what it looks like on the default. Then you've got on hover and then we're on press and on selected. So as you can see here, it's black when selected. And when we hover over these, we're not getting any changes. Okay. And of course, when we press, we can see that that didn't change anything either. Now, what we can do is we can change the format of all of those elements, whether we have a default view, what that looks like, what the hover looks like. So if I click into hover, for example, um, here we have uh, the ability to kind of see, okay, text, color, all that kind of stuff. We might want to change it. Uh, you've got the fill. Okay. So here you can see that on hover, it kind of changes to a, a bit of a gray color. Um, but if on hover, what we want to do is actually make it black with white text, then we could do that. Right. And now as we hover, we can see here that it changes, right? So you have all of those kind of options within your styling tab. Okay. And uh, of course you can see here, show hidden pages or not, uh, tool tips or not, and show all by default, right? So for example, if we don't want to see all, we can turn that off and then we can choose which pages we want on the navigation. So let's say we don't want page four, we can do that manually here within our data as well. Okay. So for the most part, uh, we'll leave it all on. Uh, that's all we need. And this is our page navigation. This is the most easiest way to create page navigation within uh, Power BI, right? We can now copy this and we can go ahead and paste this on all of the other pages. And now we have clean navigation all the way through, as you can kind of see, as we go filter uh, or click on all the buttons, we can go through all of the pages. Okay, so that's the easiest way. There are of some older methods that a lot of people used to use, which was bookmark navigation. Okay, so again, if we were to go to view and we were to go click on bookmarks, we can go ahead and add a bookmark here for page one. We can go over to page two, we'll add a bookmark for that. We'll come over to page three, bookmark for that, and bookmark for page four and of course bookmark for page five. Now of course bookmarks have lots of different things right associated with them such as data and visuals so they can be a little bit more nuanced in terms of what is visible what's not visible and of course what kind of data you show when you have a bookmark for it okay but in this example we're going to keep it really simple and we're just going to create now bookmark navigation so we're going to go to insert we're going to go to buttons we can go down to navigator and then we have a bookmark navigator so if I click that now you get the same kind of navigator, but this time it's for bookmarks. Okay. Okay. Very, very straightforward, very simple. Um, but again, if we go ahead and click on bookmark one, bookmark two, or we'll go to page two, which obviously it doesn't exist on uh, and so forth. Right. So bookmark one. 
Okay, now the other way of doing this is to insert a button, okay, and uh, we actually have the ability to use shapes, might be better. So we just choose a rounded shaped button here, okay, or a shape, I should say, and we're just going to bring this in. And then what we do here with our shape selected is we can go over to actions, which is currently off, we'll turn it on choose action we now have the ability to choose a bookmark and then from here we can go bookmark one and if we don't want to use a bookmark for this peel uh, or this particular button we can also go down to page navigation and then we can choose a destination page such as page two for example okay that means that this now if I hold the control key down and select it it's going to take us over to page two okay so this is used to be the kind of go-to solution back in the day uh, where you used to create bookmarks uh, before page navigation existed so you'd have bookmark one here on this particular one for example we go ahead and we could of course change all of these um, the look and feel of all of this as well uh, just bearing that in mind and um, I'm going to go ahead and just basically copy and paste these in just for the purpose of the video so you guys can see uh, so here we would have bookmark two this one would be bookmark three of course we could rename these to whatever we wanted this one would be bookmark four and then this one is bookmark five okay and then of course i'm going to select all of that i'm going to copy it and i'm just going to quickly paste that on all of the pages like so come back to page one here now if i select or control click page two we're on page two page three page four and page five okay so page navigation within power bi is rather straightforward and now you have these page navigation bars or bookmark uh, navigation panels right whereas before you used to use buttons now the advantages are with bookmarks and with um, your buttons here or these kind of shapes is that you can change the kind of visuals that are shown when someone clicks on a bookmark whereas page navigation is simply just that page navigation it will jump you from page one to page two but it won't apply any filters or any kind of hiding or showing of certain visuals whereas bookmarks not only allow you to change the page but do also allow you to uh, change what visuals are shown when someone clicks on it or what data is pre-filtered when someone clicks on the bookmark okay so understanding the differences between these methods is really useful and it should hopefully help you make more powerful reports okay guys it is honestly as easy as that to create page navigation within power bi if you found this video useful and informative hit that like button for me guys really does help the channel out massively which helps me help you so go ahead and get those likes up on the channel for me if you want to stay up to date with everything that we do on the channel make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another tutorial tutorial video and guys if you haven't done so you might find that video really interesting why don't you give it a click and find out